Hi guys, it's Mara Atti, and today we're going to do a math book, okay? Pay attention to the numbers in the book. The book is called Ten Eggs in a Nest. Ten Eggs in a Nest by Marilyn Sadler, illustrated by Michael Fleming. What does that mean, illustrated? It means that Michael Fleming drew all the pictures in the book. When the hen had laid all her eggs, she was very excited. She was going to be a mother. Red Rooster was excited too. He was going to be a father. How many eggs did you lay today? Red asked Gwen as he tried to peek into her nest. Puck, puck, Gwen clucked. It's bad luck to count your eggs before they hatch. Red did not want Gwen to have bad luck, so he did not count her eggs. He made her a grass salad instead. Gwen was eating her salad. Then she got a big surprise. One of her eggs had hatched. It was one beautiful baby chick. I will go to the market, said Red, to buy our new baby one worm. Red strutted into worm world. He held his head high. He puffed his chest out. Pinky Pig was behind the counter. I have one new baby chick, said Red. Pinky was happy for Red. It could not have happened to a nicer rooster. This one's on me, said Pinky, as he dropped one worm into Red's bag. Red could not wait to feed the worm to his new baby chick. Ah, oh, but when Red got home, Gwen had a surprise for him. Two more baby chicks had hatched. Hmm. One plus two makes three baby chicks, said Gwen. One, two, three. You could knock me over with a feather, said Red. Red gave Gwen one worm and then hurried back to Worm World. How many more worms did he need to get? He had one worm for the first chicken and then two more hatched. So how many more worms do you think they need? Two? Yeah, I think so. I need two more worms, Red told Pinky. One, two, counted Pinky, as he dropped two worms into Red's bag. One, two, counted Red as he dropped two coins into Pinky's pocket. Red could not wait to feed the worms to his new baby chicks. But when Red got home, Gwen had a big surprise for him. Three more baby chicks had hatched. One, two, three. One plus two plus three Makes six baby chicks, said Gwen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh dear, said Red. Oh yes, said Gwen. Red gave Gwen two worms and then hurried back to Worm World. I need three more worms, Red told Pinky. One, two, three, counted Pinky as he dropped three worms into Red's bag. One, two, three, counted Red as he dropped three coins into Pinky's pocket. Red could not wait to feed the worms to his new baby chicks. But when he got home, Gwen had a great big surprise for him. Four more baby chicks had hatched. One, two, three, four. One plus two plus another three Plus four more makes ten baby chicks, clucked Gwen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Red was speechless. You could have knocked him over with a feather. Red gave Gwen three worms and then hurried back to Worm World. Pinky had four worms ready for Red when he flew through the door. 
One, two, three, four, counted Pinky as he dropped four worms into Red's bag. One, two, three, four, counted Red as he dropped four coins into Pinky's pocket. Red could not wait to feed the worms to his new baby chicks. And when Red got home, Gwen did not have a big surprise for him. There were no more eggs to hatch. Finally, Red got to feed his new baby chicks. He fed them each one worm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten new baby chicks in our nest, said Red. Gwen was happy for Red. It could not have happened to a nicer rooster. This one's on me, said Gwen, as she planted one peck on Red's cheek. So, in this book, we're learning how to add. Add is to put two numbers together and get a new number out of it. So, in this worksheet, you have two eggs in the nest. We're going to add another one to the nest. So, that means two plus one. Okay, so when we put this one egg inside the nest, we're going to have one, two, three eggs. So you're going to put the number three right here. So these are different eggs that we're going to add into our nest. We're doing addition, okay? We're going to put them together. I hope you enjoy this worksheet.